What's going on guys? Pancakes here, and I've got you guys some more Call of Duty gameplay commentary here. I think it's been about a week actually since I've done one of these. Um, but yeah, you know, I do enjoy sometimes just sitting down with, with, a, uh, with a microphone and just saying whatever I feel like saying, you know. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I've, doing, I've been doing a lot of Let's Plays lately. Uh, uh, and I'll talk about that a little bit more later on in this video. But uh, this particular gameplay here is actually something that I was planning on sending to Machinima. Uh, and uh, if you may recall, a little over a year ago, I told you guys that I was going to submit two videos, uh, two Black Ops 2 videos, to Machinima. Uh, but for whatever reason, that never really panned out. I mean, I, I, I wasn't lying to you when I said that I was going to send those, send those in. I mean, I tried... Uh, but it just, I don't know what the exact reason was, but things didn't quite work out with that, so they never went up. Uh, so it's kind of a disappointing, but you know, no big deal. I can just upload it here for you guys, so no harm, no foul. And uh, you know, I thought the gameplay was pretty decent, but I'm not going to talk too much about the gameplay because, well, I think that anything that I could really say about this game has already been said by like 400 people. I mean, it's a pretty old game at this point, uh, but you know, I think the gameplay can kind of speak for itself. So I think I'll go and talk about some, you know, some other things in this video, like those let's plays. As I said, um, I've been doing two let's plays uh, concurrently. I've been doing a Bioshock Infinite and a an Outlast let's play, and uh, they've been a lot of fun, uh, especially Outlast. Now that's a game that I I didn't really know what to expect because I'm playing this completely blind. Like I have no idea, <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing in the game uh, beyond you know what I find out as I'm playing it, uh, and that game. My goodness, that is a scary game. I'd say it's probably up there with the likes of Dead Space. And I've uploaded, I think, four parts of the Let's Play to my channel. But uh, I think I'm about 12 parts in in terms of actually recording. Uh, and the game is just really messed up. Um, and, uh, you know, I'd say it's definitely more along the lines of Dead Space in a sense where the environments are really gnarly and really bloody and gory. And it, there's a lot of jump scares and stuff like that. It's just really disturbing. Um... It's a lot different from Silent Hill because when I think when I you know the the main horror that I've played in the past has been Dead Space and Silent Hill. Uh, I kind of played a little bit of Resident Evil, but not much. It's mainly been uh, Silent Hill and Res and uh, and Dead Space. Uh, and as you guys may know, I mean I, I started a Silent Hill three walkthrough a long time ago. I never finished it, unfortunately. As I told you guys, I think my I lost access to the PlayStation 2, so I couldn't do any more of that. Uh, but I did want to finish it. But uh, but you know, as you guys may have, have remembered on watching that Let's Play, uh, Silent Hill is a very slow psychological kind of horror. Right? It's a game where you feel very isolated, you feel very alone, uh, and and that kind of plays into the fear factor, where a lot of weird things happen. You hear a lot of weird noises, and it just makes you feel very uncomfortable. Um, and there aren't too many jump scares. You know, it's a very kind of slow-burning, suspenseful, psychological kind of game. And that's why I love it. It's a very different kind of horror. There aren't too many games quite like that. Um, and Outlast is a bit more in-your-face. There's a lot more gore. There's a lot more blood. There's, like, people trying to stab you. It's <laughs> it's a very, you know, it's, it's more in-your-face in, in the horror. Not that that's a bad thing. Actually, Outlast, I think, is very successful in what it does. Uh, and apparently there's a lot of disturbing things in it that I miss. Like, I, I mean, I don't even know how this is in a video game, but as from what I hear, there's actually necrophilia in the game, which just blows my mind, because I didn't even think that was possible in a video game. So, that kind of gives you an idea as to what's going on with that. It's, uh, it's pretty messed up, but I, I'm really enjoying it. Uh, the the uh, Let's Play seems to be pretty well received as well. So if you haven't checked that out, I'd go and look at it. Um, you know, I've been really enjoying it, uh, you know, doing it, and uh, people seem to be enjoying it as well, so uh, that's been a lot of fun. And, uh, of course, Bioshock Infinite is a wonderful game. I've been doing a Let's Play on that as well, um, and, uh, you know, there's not much to say about that. It's just a really cool game, and if you haven't seen that as well, I'd go ahead and check that out. But, uh, you know, I think that's kind of the direction I want to go with this channel. I mentioned this before, but I think I'll mention it again. Um, you know, these kinds of Let's Plays are what I'm really enjoying and, uh, you know, competitive shooters, they have their place, and I'm sure I'll continue to play them because, well, I've always been, I mean, I've been playing competitive shooters since I was in grade school, like elementary school. I've been playing Counter-Strike since I was 10. I've been playing Doom since I was, like, 4, which is, <laughs> you would think I'd be a mass murderer by now, but fortunately, that is not the case, but... I mean, that's what I enjoy. I do like shooters. It's, it's what I've played the most of in my life. But I do like to branch out a bit. And I think these Let's Plays do offer me the chance to bring you guys a, a greater variety in content. And uh, it allows me to kind of keep things fresh. 
But uh, certainly in the future, you can expect to see a lot more of these kinds of Call of Duty gameplays. Uh, I do have a huge backlog of Black Ops 2 gameplay. So, uh, you know, there's a lot more to come if you guys want more. Um, and I've been playing a lot of Battlefield 4 as well. Well, not really a lot because I don't have that much time. But I've been playing some Battlefield 4. I'm, I'm trying to get a little bit better at that so I can get you guys some content for that as well. Uh, that is on the PS4, however, so I need to get a new capture card, which leads into the next topic here, which is... Which capture card should I get? Now, I know before when I bought my Hopog HD PVR, which only works in component, so that does not work with the uh, new consoles, um, that was kind of, it kind of had a monopoly on the market. There was not really any other HD PVR out there besides maybe Blackmagic Intensity Pro, which, um, you know, is, is a very expensive internal capture card. But for an external capture card, the uh, Hopog was the only thing available on the market at the time. But now there are, I think... A number of big ones. The ones I've heard thrown around have been Roxio, Hot Pog, and Elgato. And I was wondering if you guys could maybe give me some advice, if you have any, if you have any experience with these capture cards as to which one you like the best. Now, I've been doing some research on my own. I haven't really found anything real conclusive, and I'll continue to do more research. Because, I mean, for me, I'm a college student. I don't have that much money, $150, $160. That's kind of a lot of money for me. So I want to make sure that whatever I buy is the right thing for me and of course that would be to get you guys the best possible uh, quality in terms of gameplay content so if you guys have any kind of advice maybe any sort of experiences that you may have had with any of these types of capture cards I'd really appreciate that um, so I can get you guys some PlayStation 4 content which I mean, I'm assuming is going to be a majority of, of, of the future games that I bring you guys because I mean the Xbox 360 and the PS3 generation is kind of winding down. Um, and, of course, the Xbox One as well. I'm planning on getting that sometime later this year. Uh, $500 is a lot to spend, so it may be a little while until I can save up the cash for that. But uh, I'll try to pick that up as soon as I can and get you guys some Xbox One gameplay as well. Um, but, yeah, I think that about sums it up for capture card conversation. Hopefully, if you guys can get me some of that, uh, some some thoughts and some experiences, some advice with which one I should pick up, i definitely appreciate that. And finally, to round out this video, I'd like to give a shout-out to one of my Xbox Live friends. Um, he actually lives 50 miles away from me, which is pretty remarkable. Although I've never met him. But uh, he's a really nice guy, really cool guy. Uh, he's a great player. Uh, he uploads mainly... Battlefield and Call of Duty, but I believe he does other types of things as well, and uh, I really like his videos, so I thought, you know, it might be nice to go ahead and give him a shout out, maybe you guys will like his videos, um, I do, so, uh, you know, I, I would definitely recommend checking him out, um, I'll leave the link to his channel in the description of this video, go ahead and tell him that I sent you, you know, just type, Pancake sent me, and I'm sure that he'd find that rather amusing, <laughs> but uh, yeah, you know, I think that'd be really cool, I'm sure he'd appreciate it, and, and, uh, and yeah, I think that about sums it up, so, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. There's a lot more to come. I'm planning on doing a uh, the Left for Us DLC come Friday, and I'm planning on doing the Bioshock Infinite DLC come uh, March, as well as um, what's it called? Uh, I believe it's called uh, yeah, Infamous Second Son. That's another game I'm planning on doing in the future. So there's a lot of stuff coming up in the future. A lot to look forward to. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video, and I will see you guys next time.